It has been spring break. I am well rested, but oh, I got some fragrances to talk about and bonus points. We got some elf mail while I was gone. So let's get on into it. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, everyone. The Santa Maria here, yes. Hi everyone, it is March. March is spring break. And yes, I did have spring break. The head elf and I went home for a week to recharge, refresh, and now I am back. And now it's time for fresh new content. As always, lipstick of the day today, everyone. I'm wearing something that's an oldie but goodie. I've missed this color. This is MAC Lady Danger. I decided to go into my stash and look for it. Definitely check that out. And yeah, it's like an orangey red, a classic. Everything I have on my face, of course, will be in the description box below, so you don't have to ask questions about it. Next up, we have Fragrance of the Day, and I decided to rock out with this fall slash winter beauty while it's still a little cool outside. This is from Parfums of Marley, and this is Altair, or Altair, depending on how you want to pronounce it, but here it is. I need to do your dedicated review because I've had you for a while, and my thoughts are fully formed at this point. So again, fragrance of the day is Parfums de Marley Altair fragrance. The good thing about being gone is coming back to newbies and new goodies. And I got some elf mail while I was gone. So super excited to share that with you all. So I got a happy card that came with it. And this is from Elf Ursula. Yes, she is no stranger here to the channel. Yay. She always sends amazing goodies. And I really do appreciate that. So this time around, Elf Ursula sent me something from a brand I have never tried, but I'm interested in this house and I've been wanting to try it. This is from Rosa Parfums. She sent me a discovery set. This is their summer collection fragrance library. So I will be having fun in this. Y'all know I like to sample and try new things. And it means what? A new sampling video for you all will be coming soon. So we're gonna have some fun with that. And she also sent me some samples too. And these samples are from Zerjov because she knows I like Zerjov. This is Torino 23 and my baby Torino 22. So I'm happy to have a tester sample size of it to keep in my purse because as you all know, I have the full size bottle of Torino 22. And this is, of course, my branded signature scent for the season, of course, spring 2024. So yes, Zerjov Torino 22. So yeah, never mad about having more of it in my life. So always happy about that. And as always, she sent again a personal card that I have read. Cards are personal. So I know what she said. Thank you again to Elf Ursula for sending over this lovely Elf mail because again, I have never tried anything from Roja. So I will be having fun with that and my Zerjov samples because I love Zerjov. <laughs> so as always, whenever I go on a trip or whatnot, I always tell y'all what I wore. And for spring break, I was gone for six days. Went back to my hometown, Memphis, Tennessee for the new elves that did not know that. Yes, I am from Memphis 10, honey, yes. <laughs> But the last six days, I went home, and as always, I give you the breakdown of all the fragrances that I took. I have my handy dandy travel case. Let's go through this thing. Let's get into it. <laughs> so on Tuesday, that was our travel day. We hit the road bright and early that morning. So I wanted something that was gonna bring me joy, that's an easy reach, and I've had it for a long time at this point. So I went in with Killian's Good Girl Gone Bad. The good thing is the dedicated review is already up on this channel, so I won't go too in depth with it, but this was the first ever Killian purchase I ever made. So this is a forever fragrance for me. Mmm, it's so good. This is the fragrance that made me fall in love with Osmanthus. I just have to say that this is just beautiful. This was the one that won me over with Killing It, and I always have to say that. So yes, A Good Girl Gone Bad was my travel fragrance. Just for context, it's about a three hour road trip from Nashville to Memphis. So yeah, you leave in the morning, you're there by lunch. <laughs> So Wednesday was the first full day there. So of course with that, I wanted to like play in something. You all know I like to take samples with me and whatnot to try something new. So before I left, I ended up getting some samples in. This is from Memo and this is Ila Dumeo, this scent. And here's a picture of the bottle on the back. So I wore this one on Wednesday. Wednesday was more of a family day, visited, went around, hung out with my parents, saw some of my aunts and stuff. So I wore this fragrance and since we are here, this fragrance, I had seen that it has a description of honey flowers, whatnot. So Ila Dumeo, there's mandarin, hyacinth, juniper, jasmine, iris, gardenia, orange blossom, all the lovely florals. There's even a base of vanilla and musk in here. So I gotta admit, on paper, I fell completely in love with this scent. It just smells like quintessential spring to me and I enjoy it. However, wearing this one on skin, it's a bit of a softer wear. And in fact, I forgot I even had it on. <laughs> So this is one that, yeah, uh, it's cute, but do I need a full bottle of it? And I gotta admit, wearing this one on skin, it started to remind me of another fragrance that I already own, and that is Chanel Beige from the Les Exclusive line. So to me, if you already have Chanel Beige, 
You don't really need Memo Paris's Ila Du Mel, which is nice, but the beige to me projects, it projects more and it's stronger. And it's still within the same DNA of like honey and florals and whatnot. So Ila Du Mel, you're cute, but I'm glad I got a sample of you and did not blind by the scent because it's a nice scent, but I don't need it. So that's also the beauty of testing out a fragrance, you know, when you're traveling and whatnot to really give it a full body's wear, full day wear. And I gotta admit, it was warm while I was at home too. So I wore it in its appropriate season. So yeah, it just doesn't work for me. <laughs> that again is Memo Paris's Ila Du Mel. So then Thursday, I had an important errand to do. I went and got my summer color. So yes, my hair does look a little bit brighter. Yes, that is, you're not seeing things. So for my hair day, I decided to rock out with Tamin's Peregrina. You all have noticed, this scent really has grown on me. It went from uh, I'm not feeling it as much to now I love this scent. So this is a testament to trying to scent out again. It was a sample that got upgraded to a full size bottle. This is gorgeous. The caramel, the rose, there's like myrrh in here. Yeah, I need to do your dedicated review too because I've been reaching for you a lot more than I thought I would and I gotta give Peregrina your props and it's still get compliments. So yes, <laughs> gotta love that. That means Peregrina was the Thursday fragrance. Friday was hang out with mommy day cause she was off or whatnot. So we just lived dad at the house and I went and hung out with my mom. We did some shopping, ran around, did some things. And I decided to do a maiden voyage on a latest addition to my collection. So you're seeing it here first. You don't have to wait till the end of the month haul like I normally do, but y'all, I went ahead and got my full size bottle of Carmina before I left and I took it with me. So check it out. Here's the full size bottle you all. And I wore it and let me tell you something. I told y'all in my sampling video I did of it before I left that yeah, I was gonna have to go ahead and revisit my thoughts on this one because if y'all recall, the first time I wore Creed's Carmina, I was like, ah, I'm not really feeling it and I smelled it in the fall, right? Fast forward now, we're in spring 2024 season and to me, this is a spring fragrance and now I'm loving it. That's why obviously, hello, full bottle happened and I'm enjoying the peony in here, the saffron, the frankincense, the rose in here is pretty and this scent lingers because let me tell you something, I sprayed this in my room while I was getting ready. I went back and by the time I got back home, it was dark and let me tell you something, my room still was filled with the smell of Carmina and I had been gone. So this scent, again, I had wrote you off incorrectly the first time, but this one lasts. She lasts and I can still smell her on me. She did what she needed to do. It brought me a lot of joy. So yes, Creed Carmina was the Friday fragrance. Saturday was brunch day. We had a big family brunch. One of my aunts hosted it because she knew I was home and whatnot. So that's always sweet. So I decided to also again, test out another fragrance that I'm possibly maybe considering for full bottle status. And yeah, I have some thoughts. The fragrance I wore is Creed Adventures for her. This is my decant. I have had this decant for over a year and I still been on the fence about it. And let me tell you, I've officially made up my mind about Creed Aventus for her. She is strong, she is very pronounced, but I don't see myself needing a full size bottle of this. I finally have come to groups with, you know what, this decant is enough. The fact that this travel size five mil decant has lasted me over a year tells me everything I need to know because this was a scent I was really reaching for, really needed it. I even used this decant up months ago. And it's nice, like the green apple opening is what I like, but this one is very much on the unisex side. It's not as much feminine to be fair, which I can wear it, it's cool. And I did get comments saying I smell good, but I'm not as like in love with this scent. It's just okay to me. So creative inches for her, I can officially say that once this decant is done, I don't need a full bottle of it. So there's your update on creative just for her. And then Sunday was of course time to head on back, time to get back to the adult world, real world, all that. It was fun seeing the family and all that. Saw my in-laws and things too, so it was great. It was a well rounded visit. I know Sundays like to smell classically feminine, so I went in with one of my new babies, and that again is the latest release from Dior, and this is the Dior Parfum that just came out for 2024. I showed you all this one in a recent video talking about spring 2024 releases. Definitely check that video out to see my thoughts on other fragrances in addition to this, but yeah, yeah, y'all. This is definitely turned into a Sunday perfume because I've been noticing that's when I've been wearing it. It's the fruitiness in here, the strawberry, the peach, the apricot with the base of that patchouli. And there's moss in here. I am enjoying this and I'm noticing this scent is getting a lot of traction. I'm noticing it's getting a lot of love here in the fragrance community, but I told you that this is going to do well for spring and summer now that it's readily available and more people are able to get their nose on it, really get their feel for it. I'm enjoying this. I am. And this DG compliments my mother thinks is beautiful. She's like, well, you smell great. So yeah, it's something about this one. So I am enjoying wearing Miss Dior. And of course I enjoy wearing it in different environments outside of my normal situation. No back home. Now that I'm here, now that I'm back. Miss Dior 
door. She was cute. And then we ended up going to dinner fresh off of the road on Sunday. So yeah, I'm glad I was wearing it. And I gotta admit, this survived the road and well into dinner. So this was about seven, eight hours later and all that. I could still smell this fragrance on me. So performance wise, I'm getting good performance out of this sense. I just want to go ahead and give you all an update on the Miss Dior, the new version for 2024. Very, very pleased with this scent so far. It brings me joy. And then of course, there's always the fragrances that did make the trip, but I didn't necessarily wear them, but I always like to show you all what at least I considered wearing while I was out of town, right? So let's get into it. So I did take some samples home too, and I also have two full-size bottles that I took with me. Cause you know, when it's a road trip, you can just take more things. So I took my sample of my Memo Paris Matter Ride. And as you all know, by the way, if you've seen my shorts and reels, you know, I recently upgraded to the full-size bottle of it. So yes, since it was just a trip, I still had a sample of it. I just packed my sample of it and I pulled the bottle out so you all can see what it looks like in full size. It's the turmeric and peach note in here for me that is just beautiful for spring. So that's why I at least considered it but I didn't pull it out because again I had some other samples that I wanted to test out you know. So Memo Paris's Matarai did make the trip. <laughs> Then another sample that I took with me, this one's been getting a lot of love here in the fragrance community. And this is from Guerlain and this is my sample of Fev Gourmand. If you all recall, I took it on my last trip last month when I went to Philadelphia and I wanted to play in it and my mom had asked to smell it too. She thinks this is so classy. She thinks this is beautiful. And I said, mom, I love it too. I said, so don't be surprised the next time I come home, you see me have a bottle of it. She's like, no, I understand, I get it. <laughs> I appreciate the support. But alas, yes, Fev Gourmand did make the trip. This is just rose and chocolate to me it's gorgeous so I will end up getting a full bottle of that before the year is over with I'm gonna say that because more than likely I'm probably gonna end up on another trip and I, if I'm near a Guerlain counter it's gonna happen I just I just noticed that's, that's what normally happens. I always end up buying my girl on so I'm out of town. <laughs> so then I also took with me, since I've been on my memo kick, I took my baby Granada, cause y'all know this was one of my top favorite scents for February and I'm still reaching for her well into March. This is so pretty. Yes, Memo Paris's Granada. Y'all heard me sing its praises. So I at least had to bring it with me just as an option. But again, like I said, I wore other things. And then the last thing I brought home with me, my mom wanted to smell it. So, cause she's a fan of who this fragrance is inspired by, which is Josephine Baker. So yes, I took home my sparkling Joe fragrance and she was like, I smell the champagne in here. Like I get it. So she, it brought her joy. I told her, I said, yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's the champagne, the pear, and the ginger for me. So yes, I wanted to play in the fragrances with her as well. <laughs> so that's what made the trip, y'all. So yes, I am back. I am back. I am situated. I am refreshed. And yeah, it feels good. It was good to spend time with my parents, good to spend time with my in-laws and whatnot, and just, you know, to get away from the madness that is Nashville. <laughs> But y'all, again, special thank you again to Elf Ursula for sending me over the Elf mail. I'm always grateful for that because you be putting me on things. Because again, I have never smelled anything for Rosia, so very happy about that. So at last, y'all, I got some other things to share from the trip and whatnot that will be coming in later videos. But yeah. And did you all go on spring break? Did you all celebrate spring break and whatnot? Let me know in the comments below and what were your spring break fragrances? I know y'all opinionated. I have missed the comments. I have missed uploading, but now we are back and we are back on our regular rotation, y'all. So I'll catch y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.